Hi, if you thought this thing from the depths of design hell was bad, well, I might have another contender for you. I present the wrist-worn auto range smart digital multimeter from, I don't know, someone on AliExpress. That doesn't look sleek. Look at this thing, a multimeter watch. Who doesn't want a, multi a watch that can turn into a multimeter? You can use it as a watch by day and in anger, you can plug your probes in and use it as a multimeter. Oh, doesn't get any better than this Bobby Dazzler. Look at it. Beautiful design. Is that, uh, what else have we got on here? It's just DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance, continuity. It's got data hold, a backlight. It's got auto power off. And you can use it for electrical or appliance pair, hobby projects. And, oh, look at this. Let's have a look what we get. It can do 300 volts, no worries. Oh. Oh. That doesn't look like that. Uh, and... Uh, 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 the probes aren't removable. That's not quite what was promised, is it? Um, uh, okay. But hey, let's give it a go, shall we? For the film aficionados. Oh, 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 oh that's not film. What? D is that, no, it didn't, the film didn't come off. Oh, Wow, I've never had a film failure before with the peel off. Let's go. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go for the aficionados. So look at this bad boy. We have a nice silicone flexi uh, band here. It's, whoa, look at that. It's all integrated. None of that uh, traditional watch band, uh, you know, like a watch, the spring um, thing. No standardized thing like that. None of that rubbish. Um, no, we've got ourselves a uh, rubber baby buggy bumper fully enclosed thing. It's uh, knurled on the back there. And well, okay, let's power it on. And on. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Moldy, um, yeah, okay. So we can go DC, AC volts. It's actually got a big display on it. I'll give it that. DC millivolts. There you go. And AC millivolts. And auto. So you can't manually go to resistance, I guess. I guess it's only in auto mode, right? And straight out of the 1980s, look at this, curly probes, they were all the rage for those who remember the 1980s. Oh, you just lusted after these curly probes, none of the, you know, tangle you'd get um, on your bench with your big long leads just flapping around in the breeze. No, these curly ones promised, oh, the absolute end to that. Until, of course, you accidentally got them, um, like, entangled, like, this, oh, oh, those ones, yeah, but you can. Anyway, curly leads is a reason that you don't see them anymore. Just saying. Look at this. Oh, so look at that. It is insulated for our protection, so it's got the little thing which makes it more better a cat rated than if you keep that one on than if you take off the whole thing. It's got a little tiny baby guard there. Um, yeah, these are not uh, silicone leads. They're just, yeah, your regular PVC ones. Let's go back to our auto mode, and uh, I'll tilt it here at the optimum angle for the screen. Let's do the auto range. There you go. Um, yeah. Right, we've got zero, 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 just continuity. So not sure how you get to ohms, but uh, it's absolutely useless as a continuity tester. That is ohms mode, or is it? Okay, I thought it had like decimal point there. It's not. What is it, uh, two, like 2,000 ohms? But it's got a backlight. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Comes from the top. Oh, it's okay. None of that fluke touch hold rubbish. It's just um, hold. Oh, it's got a little LED that lights up there. Look at that. Oh. Now, in terms of using it as a, as a watch, you might think you just uh, put that through like that. But um, that uh, is that the case? In that, well, in that case, uh, yeah, no, that's the wrong way. It just flaps around in the breeze. So you've obviously got to feed it under, over, and then through like this, um, hang, hang on, I'm having trouble, but then it's like, what? No, it's like you've got to put it through first, like that, and then 
sort of guess where your wrist is going to go and then try and maybe expand it to get uh, on your wrist. I, uh, oh. Come on, Dave, stop complaining. Just <laughs> feed this thing through and... <laughs> Kill me now. Who designed this? <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, imagine somebody actually signed off on the design for this thing. Yeah, we're going to have a watch multimeter. Fantastic concept, just like the uh, that flake multimeter watch, which I'll put up the video if you haven't seen it. It was a concept, you know, it's a, an artist uh, concept of a multimeter watch and everyone went, went, wow, I'd buy that. You know, um, really good. But um, yeah, anyway, so somebody decides, yeah, okay, I'm going to design a multimeter watch and we're going to have a band that you basically struggle to get on your wrist. Like it's just, it's just ridiculous, right? Okay, anyway, it's on. It's not too bad. I, like, you know, it, it's okay, except for the fact that your probes dangle. Like, what am I supposed to do with the leads? I don't get it. What, I, I shove them under here, I guess, like that? And you, what, like, uh, what? Do I wrap them around and then shove them under? What, do, oh, almost, ah, stab myself, like, what? Oh, stop complaining, Dave. It's, it's going to make a great watch. Like, when you're not using it, um, just turn it off and a bit... Oh. Oh. It doesn't become a watch. So it's a smart digital multimeter wrist-worn... Well, I guess they're not lying. They don't claim it to be a watch. It's a wrist-worn, auto-ranging smart digital multimeter. So, okay, um, technically, yeah, tick. But, like, you're going to wear this thing and you're going to tolerate these leads flapping around in the breeze like this uh, while you're walking or having them, you know, stabbing yourself by shoving them under here like this. And uh, you don't even get a watch functionality. Oh, where's my button? Jesus Christ. And we've got a USB recharging port. Like, a meter like this, you can get, like, 500 hours battery light, you know, a couple of coin cells, just like the uh, pocket multimeters. Oh, the new EEV Blog 1980S, a genuine Cat 3, a 300 volt pocket multimeter, available now on the EEV Blog store. I'll even put a coupon code down below. So, yeah, rather than put like a back on, like a screw back on this thing with some coin cell batteries in there and get like 500 hours out of the thing, they have to like, um, uh, like break any, <laughs> not that it has a proper cat rating, but you know, they had to break that by having it USB C rechargeable for just a regular like uh, meter that takes like a milliamp or two like that's just ridiculous why do you need a rechargeable battery for that it's just a joke turned on and you notice that we had all the different sound there was a symbol up there for capacitance and everything else but uh it can't it can't do that so wah, 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 wah. there you go capacitance diode can't do any of that rubbish um so you can't use it as a continuity tester Maybe if you're really, really slow. I mean, I guess it's loud enough and it does have like a visual uh, thing indicator there and barely. Oh yeah, they didn't have this on the case. It's the CZ Dang K8. Um, yeah, great. Good work, uh, CZ Zang. So anyway, I want to measure something. Uh, sorry about like the OCD angle. Like like the screen, the screen's actually, you know, it's, it's reasonably... Decent. Um, like, and the big, and the digits are at least big, but anyway, this is back to front. All the electrons are going to fall out, but, uh, yeah, there it is. The minus is down the bottom there, under the zero. Um, so that's a bit oddball, but, uh, at least you get the bigger digits as the, uh, compensation. So the auto ranging, uh, like the auto, um, function select thing works all right. It's not too shabby, but I don't know why we can't get to the, like, manual ohms range like millivolts ac millivolts and back to order why, why can't we just go to ohms so anyway to see this thing like when i'm probing something i've got a sort of yeah i can i can see that screen at an angle it's yeah you're probably seeing what i'm seeing here um but it's kind of like you have to sort of like bend your wrist like you know if you're probing like that you can't you can't see jack unless you move it around like that i guess you could put it like that and and probe 
I guess. Oh, oh. Oh, we're not in auto mode anymore. Oops. There we go. Auto mode. So I guess, you know, you can move it around on your wrist, perhaps. <laughs> Sick of wearing this stupid thing already. Anyway, uh, let's... Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. It's straight to... Yep, there we go. Oh, it's not too shabby. So if I just thumb it here... The update rate's actually reasonably quick on this. Um, there you go. So, but yeah, as I said, like, we, like we, we can hold that. We can freeze it, but we can't, like, just stick it in ohms mode. So, well, oh, there we go. It's, oh, so there you go. The continuity tester over, that's interesting. It works in, in, like, hold mode. That's fascinating, is it not? All right, let's see what rate it charges at. And, oh, hello, auto switch is off there. Um, th that's a, like a safety feature, so you can't use it when you're plugged in. So I guess uh, that's all right. Um, and it, can you? Can you override that? No, no, you can't. Okay, yeah, definite safety feature. Uh, 175 milliamps there, um, charging. Well, my care factors are getting to zero at this point, but uh, there you go, 3% um, uh, out. Okay, at least it's consistently 3% out. Does anyone else care at this point? Um, anyway, let's do a tear down. Oh, look at that. There you go. So there's your little... <laughs> I don't know. They've just, yeah, they've just done that as one big uh, rubber baby buggy bumper mould. Here we go. We can now get in. Um, they could have just had that easily taken out and had some coin cells in there instead of the rechargeable rubbish. No metal threaded inserts, of course, but what do you... I think I paid like 10 bucks for this thing, by the way. Oh, I'll try and put up an exact price, but oh my God. Like, <laughs> you get what you get and you don't get upset. I know a lot of people are going to like the concept of a multimeter watch, but uh, this ain't it, chief. So, well, here we go. Well, there we go. There's our little... There's our little lithium polymer jobby. Uh, 0.48, so, you know, half a watt hour. Uh, there, so 130 milliamp hour, they were charging it at, at uh, 70, uh, 170, weren't they? And there you go, there's the internals. I can't read that chip number. They lasered that off. I'm not seeing that at any angle. I've done a cool video on how to read uh, chip part numbers, by the way. I just loaded it up on X. If you follow me on my X channel, it's actually uh, the pinned video um, at the moment. Those wires flapping around in the breeze there, are they going off to the backlight? Anyway, it's exactly what you'd expect. Uh, just a multimeter chipset, and what's under that? Is that... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll take that off. There we go. Um, and we just got our input. Of course, there's no uh, proper cat rating on this thing. It's a yeah, nah, as we say here in Australia. Um, yeah, there's no even PTC uh, protection on here at all, let alone uh, mobs or anything else. Um, we might just have some diode clamp in there and uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle. So, um, yeah, nothing doing there. It's got our reverse mount uh, lead up there that we saw on the uh, front, that little piss weak lead. Um, and uh, is that a um, storing the uh, calibration stuff? Is it? Is that a little prom? Is it? Uh, 2431 there, and they have indeed lasered the number off that chip. They've completely lasered that. So, yeah, we don't know what that is. You can work it out from the pinout if you're uh, re really keen enough. Hang on, we've got a manual with it. Operator manual, wrist-worn smart digital multimeter. There you go. Yeah, they've actually removed the symbols for the uh, capacitance and the uh, diode there. Because this is a wristband-style multimeter with uh, 5,000 count. I just don't care. Um, and it's powered by rechargeable lithium battery. The meter is easy to carry. Why do you want to carry you want to wear it on your wrist and you want it to operate as a watch because that's what you have on your wrist it's a watch or is that just me i don't know it has stable performance high accuracy oh three percent that i measured clear readings well i admit it's got clear readings it's easy to operate yeah i guess it, yeah it's pretty easy to operate the auto mode works the meter will display the content by automatically identifying the measured object and can also select the function buttons to switch something to switch between dc voltage ac voltage resistance and continuity it is a tool meter with good performance is also ideal to for factories families I get one for the whole family, please, and hobbies. <laughs> so 6,000 count, three times per second. Um, it seemed a bit faster than that, but anyway, Cat 3, my ass. 
Yes, it actually tells you there that it does not actually go to ohms. So there you go, contradicts itself. And the accuracy, uh, 0.5%. Well, yeah, nah, I measured uh, 3% on two of the DC volt ranges. So wah, wah, wah. Well, hang on. Did seem to be well within spec for ohms, though. So, you know, anyway, um, 300 volts, AC, DC. Oh, my God, would I even bother? Hang on, I have actually figured this out. I think you, what you do, what you do see is you put it over like that and then you stick it like that and then, oh, no. Oh, I thought I had it. Hang on, hang on, I can do this. Okay, so you stick it through there. You gingerly have to... Uh, no, no, I thought we'd be able to successfully feed it through like that and under, but the rubber's just going to stick to itself and, uh, yeah. All right, kitties, don't try this at home. I am a professional. Here we go. And stick it right up the clacker. 254 volts AC, and I'm surviving. That is actually correct. I'm pretty sure that's uh, bang on to my mains voltage, so... I survived. Um, I guess that's a win. In case you haven't guessed, this is a huge thumbs down. Do not buy this heap of crap. I know a lot of people would say, oh, if, if, you know, I'd buy a multimeter uh, watch, you know, but uh, no, it's not a watch. Um, you can't get the damn thing on. It's got fixed freaking probes that just, and it's got the old school 80s um, <laughs> <laughs> coily probes. I can see why they did the coily probes, but what are you supposed to do? Just walk around like this, you know, like, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to pro. Like, what the hell? Like, what's the point in this thing? I know what someone's going to say. Uh, Dave, oh, that's pretty useful. It's like small and compact and tiny. I could like throw that in the glove box or the toolbox. And, and then when I want to quickly use it, I can just whack it on my wrist. That's pretty convenient. Sort of, you know, it keeps it out of the way. But the problem is you can't just quickly like slap it on your wrist because the band is just like designed the wrong way like oh, who was this thing actually for i don't know leave it in the comments down below would you actually have a use for this thing they, they, they probably made like a run of a thousand of these and that's it. You know, uh, they might be able to sell them because, oh, multimeter watch, oh boy, oh, I want a multimeter watch, that sounds cool, I'll buy that. Oh. And then you get it and you realise it's just useless. Um, I, look, why? Why? I don't get it. They just churn out this rubbish. Oh, make it stop. Catch you next time. Hello.